So we're now going to look at a couple more problems, two more problems, just to kind of review our skills. We're going to look at a, two, a slightly more difficult problem. So number one, we're going to convert 43 centimeters to kilometers. So in this case, this is pretty straightforward. So we have the King Henry written out right in front of us. We're going from centimeters into kilometers. So here's the centi prefix. Here's the kilo prefix. Let's count how many jumps. One, two, three, four, five, so that was five times. As you can see right here, 10 to the n, just 10 to the fifth power. But we don't even have to deal with the pesky exponent. What we can do is, we can actually just take the number 43, and same as the arrow right here, move the decimal over 10 times. That would be the same thing as dividing it by 10 to the fifth power. One, two, three, four, five, decimal place right here, going with zeros, one, two, three. So our answer ends up being point zero 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 four three. Awesome. So let's do one other problem now. We want to convert 671 kilograms into micrograms. So you can see there is kilo on our chart, but there's no micro in our acronym. So I'm going to go look over at conversion chart. So we have kilo and micro. So which one do we use? First off, I happen to remember that one meter is equal to, excuse me, one kilo meter is equal to a thousand meters. So that will help me write a conversion factor or a conversion ratio. So let's see. Step number two we already said was to find a conversion ratio. So what is it? In this case, one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. I just happen to remember that, but if you didn't know, you can use a conversion chart using the skill that I taught in another video. So just a brief refresher of what I mean by that. What I taught was that you look here, and in this case we're talking about base unit grams g. So 10 to the g here equals one kilogram. So 10 it says one kilogram. So 10 to the third power grams equals one kilogram. 10 to the third is just 10 times 10 times 10 or 1,000. So 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. So that's our first conversion ratio. 1,000 grams equals to one kilogram. We write it as a fraction. Oh, well look at these two. They're not quite lined up correctly. So I'll rewrite 71 kilograms times, uh, I'll flip it because I want kilograms at the bottom. Kilograms, 1,000 grams. Now these are ready to cancel, but we're not done yet. Our problem asks for micrograms, not grams. So we actually have to do another step here. If we just cancel these out, kilograms cancel out and we would get grams. We need micrograms. 
So we need to get the converging unit for grams, the base unit, into micrograms. So we'll have another look. Conversion chart. So right there it says, where is micro? It's 10 to the negative 6 micro. Cool. I'm going to write that down. So negative six micro. So the way I explained it before, I'm gonna pretend this says grams, ten to negative six grams equals one microgram. Now our ratio is one micro over ten to the negative six grams. And you can write out all the zeros if you want, but I'm going to just keep it in this format into negative six. It's a little bit easier for me to work. So now the way it's written, I can cancel out grams up here so that we're left with micrograms. Just say micrograms. So I'm going to move this on over here. Come on over to the party partner. Now it's times one microgram over 10 to the negative 6 grams. Cool. Now kilograms cancel out and now grams cancel out. We're left with micrograms as we wanted. So we have 671 times 1,000 times 1 unit microgram over 10 to the negative 6. So I'm going to show two different ways that we can now handle this 10 to the negative 6. Although there's several different ways. So I'm going to say part A. Part A one way you could handle this exponent. I'm going to turn this into a comparable expression. 1,000 is the same as 10 to the third power. So we'll have 671 times 10 to the third power divided by 10 to negative 6 micrograms. So as I said, there's an A and a B part, there's two ways for us to solve that expression. So one is to actually divide it. Divide 10 to the third by 10 to the negative 6. So the rule for dividing numbers like, like this, when it's two numbers that have the same base, they both have base 10. You divide, you take this exponent on the top minus the exponent on the bottom in order to get this on top. So I'll say that again, you take in this method, when you have two of the same base divided by each other, you simplify it by taking the exponent on the top three minus the exponent on the bottom, negative six. So our new expression is 71 times 10 to the three minus negative six power micrograms. Three minus negative six, two negatives makes positive, so it's just three plus six or nine. So 671 times 10 and ninth power micrograms. The other way I was gonna say is, if you just happen to remember, let's move this over, B. We write this six seventy one over ten to the six micrograms. So if you happen to remember I said anytime you have a negative exponent, you can simplify it just by flipping it over and turning it positive. So that's the other method. 10 to the negative 1 over 10 to the negative 6, which is what you have now, is the same as just 10 to the positive 6 on top. 
So watch what I do here. 671 times 10 to the third power. We flipped it. We flipped this over and made it positive. Now it's times 10 to the positive sixth power. The rule for when you multiply two numbers that have exponents of the same base, it's base 10, base 10, same base, you just add the two exponents on top. So it's 671 times 10 to the ninth power micrograms. Same exact answer we got the other number. Of course, you could have just kept it as whatever number this was a four with six zeros, and I even did 10 to the negative six. But I'm showing you another way you can do it. There you have it. Go forth and be successful.